everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with another haul from Crafter's Companion. This is another cartload haul, uh, but I'm showing you the box just because there's no way I can do an unboxing because the box is so big and I've literally got that tiny bit of room there. I'm just going to keep hitting the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything out of the box and then we're going to share with you what I actually purchased. Exciting! Right, so I've got everything out of the box guys um, I'm just going to go for it very quickly and show you what you got um, This deal actually, I don't know if I said in the intro actually um, It was while they had this thing on, I can't even remember what it was for But they basically if you bought so many items you got so much discount So it was like, I think if you bought one item you got 10% off, so on and so on and Up to five items you got 20% off So I basically got 20% off this off everything plus my 20 percent platinum off it as well so basically everything was on a cartload deal more or less what i have purchased today um and on top of that i then got the 40 percent off so this was just like crazy it was daft not to get it and that's why this is so much I if i could have got more i would have got more so yeah definitely worth buying these guys so the first deal they actually had on the cartload was these Gemini plates so you got the whole kit you got the um, bag to put all them in two cutting plates the plastic shim the metal shim the not the metal shim the magnetic shim then the metal shim and then the rubber shim and I think this was already on offer at 20 something pounds plus then I had like say the 40 percent off so although I didn't really need them right now, there's, there's something that you always do need, so why not get them while they're on their offer? So these are all like the fab files. Uh, if anybody been watching in my previous videos, you'll know I'm trying to get my stamps organised. And obviously our stamps come in all different sizes, which just drives me potty. And having them in this system is really working for me, but I still need to buy more. So you'll probably see more and more of these popping up in my hauls, just because I just keep gradually getting them. So I got what I could get, um, what I knew I needed rather than what I could get. Um, so yeah, so this will help me continue with that journey and I've just got a mixture, you got the 4 by 4s you've got the 5 by 7s and i got the A4s and i got a couple of the Fab Files uh, A4 sizes as well. These was, I've already got the Fab File boxes so I just needed them to put in there to make it easier. So that's a shitload of those. Um, then I actually got some of these as well. I've never used any of these and these are the Sparkle Glitter Inks. Um, I only actually purchased these because they did actually have the pot of the Metallics. Um, they was on offer for £10 plus like I say I was getting the discount off on top. Uh, but unfortunately when they've sent it they've said it was out of stock so I'm not giving it. So now I'm like left with three colours. Um, so I'll have a practice with them and have a play you never know I might really enjoy it so but I don't know what I'm really doing with them I'll have to like YouTube it but these again was something like five pounds so it wasn't like breaking the bank to get them and then in here was a kit sorry oh, lost me under my brush so because I bought those paints, I didn't actually have any paint brushes and it was cheaper to buy the brushes like this and you got this palette. I don't really need this palette, I don't think. And maybe I will, I don't know. But the palette's quite a sturdy palette as well. Um, so I think this was something like £6. So, so yeah, so I'll use them with those paints and plus other paints, I'm guessing. This organiser has been something that's been on my list for a while um, and I was so made up to get it. It had been reduced to £13.99, then like I say, 20% off for the, the promotion and then be 20% off as well. So I literally paid pennies for this. Um, I do regret not buying the stamps though. I really, really wish I had have got the stamps. I never even thought about that. I didn't know what the stamps was called anyway, so I am a little bit disheartened that I didn't 
re remember, recall to get the stamps but I'm sure I can get them in the future but it would be nice to get that discount on top of everything so yes this is what you can make so and these are the stamps that I'm on about that you can purchase so I'm really excited to excited to actually have a go with this so and I have got these Gemini's and I've also got my Sizzix which I know these will go through as well Let's try and keep these boxes to one side if I'm honest and then we can go through them in a sec I'll just get the loose things so so I think these items was the launch day uh, items of that day when I placed this order uh, and I just fell in love with how cute these little animals were and you get the stamps as well so you get the dice you can put them on top of your cards there's so many things you can do but how cute are these so we got I got the whole set that they did and we got the utterly amazing Nuts about you, That's so cute. Could even use this little reindeer at Christmas as well. You, you, I can't say this one. You make me happy. How cute! Uh, just because pride and joy, an elephantastic day, which I absolutely love. This one, the dancing elephant there, I just love it reach for the sky and this is what caught my eye i love giraffes giraffes are my favorite animal so if i hadn't bought any i'd have definitely bought this one just for that little cute giraffe and then some bunny special which is cute and a little cutie mouse there and then the last one was positively perfect which is cute so yes yeah, so that was that kit um and then also got these bottles um I have got these bottles but the pins have just gone if anyone knows where you can purchase these pins from separately please let me know because obviously my bottles are good but the balls keep falling off these pins and the pins end up going all skew whiffy and so yeah so I know these are only like two pound anyway but it's just annoying when I know the bottle is good and I don't need to keep repurchasing plastic obviously we're all like environmental trying to save the environment and keep purchasing plastic and throwing plastic away that is still good is annoying so if anyone knows where I can purchase these um, treated pins from please let me know because like I say I really don't like the thought of throwing the plastic away when they're still good um, and then we've got a couple of mystery bags but first of all I did order these trays and I just don't feel like I'm meant to have the ink pad trays because this is about the third time now I've tried to order the ink pad trays and they've not been in stock so they refunded me the money and then this time I've ordered two lots again and they've sent me pen trays I do not need pen trays I've already got a shed load of pen trays so I'm going to have to ring them up um, and explain this to them and hopefully they'll like return these and they'll send me the pain trays because that's just annoying um especially as i'm really trying to get myself organized so yes we'll go through these um mystery bags first as well so this was mystery bag two by the time i actually got to uh, the cartload online the mystery bag one had sold out so you didn't even get to see what was in mystery bag one uh, so then they've got mystery bag two let's have a look and I do like these mystery bags because you do get a selection of quite a lot of things and all right sometimes there is a, some things in there I've already got but then I can put them in giveaways or I, I have got a crafting family so my granddaughter likes crafting um, my grandson likes crafting my daughter likes crafting we've got uh, daughter-in-laws sister-in-laws my mother-in-law we're just big ray of crafters really raying from knitting sewing uh paper crafts scrapbooking you name it we all have a little dabble in there of, of everything we do so i've got a big family where i can then pass these over anyway so i'm never too fussed about that so the first thing in this bag is a connie fong um angel messenger stamp i am i have got a couple of her stamps but i've never actually used them oh and this one actually comes with a die as well which is really cool i didn't realize that so I really like that. Like I say, I've not used any of the other Connie Fong ones either, so I probably didn't even realise there was probably dyes on them and all. 
then we've got this 3D embossing folder which is Reg Regency Floral. I don't tend to use embossing folders if I'm honest. Like, I forget about them and I really should do them but I don't think I would use this one just because of how small it is and I don't tend to do small cards so this would probably be in the gifting pile if I'm honest. And then we've got this Enchanted Forest die which I thought was really cute. I, was like, I thought you might have even got like this uh, bee unicorn in the field of horses but I guess not. I'm guessing that was just some, maybe from this um, collection that they may have sold separately so maybe I'll have to look at that because I feel like it, it does go very fitting with this. So yeah, so I absolutely love that one, it's so cute. And then we've got this just to say, um, and what is it, it's a stamp and dies and it includes all these things and you've got sentiments and stuff so I'm not quite sure it's, oh it's, it coordinates with the pop-up confetti cube and confetti boxes I don't think I've got any of those to be honest it's not really ringing a bell but hey ho I still think it's cute and then we've got this happy birthday die uh, the edgeable die I have got this one but it is the one that was given away for free and it's like a minute chart so and I do really like it so I'm glad I've actually got this bigger one and I feel like I could do a card with the big one at the front and then I don't know if you'd ever seen it but Sarah did a, um, a card where she bellowed another one out the same there and I'm thinking maybe I could bellow out the smaller version on it I might just give that a try guys and then we've got this spiral pop out in the honeycomb again it's not something I own so it's something new to me not too sure if I'd use it maybe maybe we could stick some like bees on this and it still would fold flat that would be kind of cute so I might give that a go then we've got the Sharon Callis Mariposa die I think I actually have this one and again if I do I will pass it over to somebody who hasn't got it and then we've got an, another embossing folder with the towering teacups. Now I know I have the towering teacups uh, stamps and die. Whether it's the same ones as these, I don't know. But I know it was from Crafters Companion. Don't recall it being part of the garden party, but it's all. But maybe there is some difference. I don't know. And then we've got this cut and emboss folder. Again, there's not something I use. I don't know why they've done such a big packet because it literally is that size, guys. I don't know why they couldn't have put it in like, I bet it would have fitted that way. So extra pack packaging not needed really, in my opinion. So that was bag number two. And then we got bag number three. And then they did a bag number four because a bag number one sold out. Um, but bag number four was basically, uh, I literally had 90% of what was in it. So there was no point in me purchasing it. So let's have a look what's in here. Right, so the first thing we've got is this foil press invitation um, word. Now, I am actually getting married next year. My other half proposed to me uh, a few months ago now. And I have actually got this, but because I'll be, I could do several now, I've got two. Now I've got two of this word, I may even have three. And maybe I could do more than the, more than one at a time so it would save me time I don't know it all depends on how I'm actually going to make my wedding invitations and if it's going to if I'm even going to use this I don't know so yeah but that was that was still good and I like I say I don't know any of my family members who have actually got a file press so I'm not too sure if they'd be able to use that so but it doesn't really matter and then we've got another stamp and die set and it's just for you um and it's I think it's uh, building roses or something so like you've got your little vase here and you die and then you've got all your sprigs and stuff and everything so yes yeah, so it's really cute you can make a bouquet of flowers and then we got this garden party again um, and this is summertime pennant so that's really pretty I really like this tag style so I can use it as bunting as well it is a die, isn't it? Yeah, it is die. 
And then the next one we've got is this uh, Church Blessings uh, die, and it's like a full on die. So it's a creator card die, as they call it. Again, if I was going to do a save the date, this would be perfect because I've got that there. I don't know if you have got this save the date die in there, but I could actually use it for that. I'm not actually going to do a save the date thing. I just can't be bothered with the hassle of it. Like, end of the day, I'll be sending out invitations a few months before, so that's good enough for me. And if, if they can make it, they can make it. If they can't, then they can't. And nine out of 10, I've, I've verbally sold people who, when, my, when the wedding is, so. Um, so yes, and then we've got another Sharon Callis. This I absolutely fell in love with this fairy. I don't think I've ever seen these, and I watch quite a lot of the Crafters TV, so I can't understand how I've missed these fairies. And I think she said there was more of these fairies, so I need to go on the hunt to try and find her. And you can dress her up. So it reminds me when I was a girl, little girl, and you used to have these books, and you could have like your the. the doll would be dressed and then you place these pieces of paper around with different dresses and stuff and it just kind of took me back to my childhood and the fact it's a fairy I mean who doesn't love fairies so and then we've got this balloon sentiment and this is quite big so I can see like this bunting die here it's a quite a big one um, and you've got lots of different balloons and I used to make do balloon modeling years ago couldn't do like merely loads of stuff but I could do like your general dogs and stuff like that so yeah so I thought it was kind of cute as well and like this is the kind of thing you can do and then the last thing is one of these you're a true friend and this is also a stamp and die as well so and you got all these this the uh, stamping and you'll do it in three different layers so you need your quick drying stamps and then you've got the die uh, well actually no that's your finished result but your die is here so you yes yeah, so that was mystery bag number two uh, number three sorry so the last two items was these um crafty companions box sets that they do um and this one's the silhouette and stencils and stamps craft kit and then you've got the eclipse stamping craft kit so let's just do i'll do the earlier one first so this is box 29 so we've got sarah here on the front saying welcome to this project kit a nice little thank you card some gorgeous tissue here and then it's just jam-packed with stuff so we've got a pack of bling <coughs> excuse me two packs of ribbon in all different sizes there a pack of stamps of bees and flowers and then you've got the alphabet dies to create the um, projects of what's in this. You could do this, but you don't need to buy this kit. You could still do this with other uh, dies that you've got. So um, if you're really good at like, like laying down the dies, then great. I don't think I am, but I'm going to give it a go. And then we've got some blank card stocks in square and um, standard, I think, and then more. So you've got quite a few cards and envelopes there and then we've got a pack of coloured cards and a pack of patterned papers so I'm not going to get them all because this video will just be way too long this was really really cheap I think it was been reduced to £20 and then obviously like, I got the 40% off so that's what about £12 it cost me so it's really really good value for that so that was that box and then we've got the silhouette and stencil stamps again this was uh, £20 I think and then I obviously got it for £12 roughly um, and this one is the one that excites me oh yeah I never actually showed you on this it's very difficult to see on here but you basically the alphabet you cut it out you do your, pack, your picture and then you cut it out the alphabet what word you want um, and then back that onto some black card or uh, paper piece in some black name um, numbers and stuff and then you erase these up so you can see it a bit better here so I'm not really explaining it very well but that's basically what you do and that's why I'm saying you could do it with any um, alphabet but this was the one I'm most excited about so again we've got that same picture of Sarah yeah same tissue and thank you notes oh this one's a bit different it's all pouches I don't really buy these. I've got a few, but I don't buy them regularly, if you know what I mean. I just buy them if they catch my eye or if 
they're on the offers um, so it's not something I buy by so we've got a sorted ribbon in here I'm guessing they've done this paper to try and keep cut down on the plastic packaging so again you've got three lots of ribbon in these colours and different sizes and then we've got this it's clear stamps I really like how they label it to be fair we can get two lots of clear stamps so we've got some silhouette fairy stamps flamingos a deer a Christmas reindeer which I have actually got something very similar to that which is a crafter's companion so it might be the same and then we've got the sentiment which is once upon a time Christmas cheer make a magical have, no, have a magical day embrace your inner flamingo Happiness, joy to the world, sparkle all the way, true love, and today is a good day to smile. So that's cool. And then what we've got, plastic stencils. So we've got circles and clouds. Hopefully you can see that. That can go inside there, and obviously this has come from inside of there. And then we've got this, which I'm quite not quite sure what it is. I mean, I'm sure there might be some pictures or something, but it's some form of background anyway, isn't it? And obviously this can see that this is like a woodland. We've got your mushrooms, you've got your tree and your grasses and stuff like that. Uh, and then again, you've got a woodland there, could be a forest. So I did actually do a Christmas card um, at Christmas with lots of stamps like this and then I had the Santa in the silhouette stamp going over and it was all in a barble thing so I uh, could have actually done it using these as well. And again another foresty type stencil and then this one's This one is an archway with some leaves and stuff on and then that's just the inner of it so I don't quite know why we've got the inner because what could you do with that but maybe you can, maybe you can. Uh, like I say stencils and embossing folders are not my forte as such. I'm going to leave that over there because that's going to take some time to put that away. Um, then we've got some assorted pearls. Oh, these are nice colours and bright so I like those I'm not going to take the card blanks out because they're just going to be the same so you've got card blanks, card blanks, card blanks and envelopes Ooh. and then we've got some printed papers I will take these out because obviously we can't even see anything other than a purple bag So yeah, so we've got lots, lots of nice papers here that match the theme. I really, really like this one. I'm not very good. Oh, that one's pretty. Very unicorn, isn't it? So yeah, so there's your printed papers. And they're quite a thick paper, to be fair. It's decent. And then we've got some coloured cardstock. Wow, this is lovely and vibrant. I really like that colour. And we've got another lovely green. Love this navy. An orange, a yellow. So yes, yeah, some really, really, really nice coloured cardstock there. So yes, that's my haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, subscribe. Uh, love it having interaction with you all. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.